why you look handsome today. And ladies, how you doing? Yeah. Glad to hear it, glad to hear it. Uh, I, asked, I asked you before the show, but I want to ask on camera, any of you biracial, anybody here? Biracial and proud of it, all right. Uh, any of you guys uh, date interracially? Anybody here? A lot of you. All right, I know you'll have a lot to say about the show. Guests whose loved ones hate the idea of interracial dating are here to go on their very first interracial dates. We're going to be taping the show in two parts, and before the hour is up, we will find out how the dates worked out. Now, Kai is up first, and Kai wants to date a white man for the very first time, even though her cousin Kobe is very much against it, beyond against it. Why? Well, he, well Kobe has two rules, okay? One is do not date his friends, and the other is do not date out of your race. Well, there we go. I broke both of them, okay? So, so you not only want to date a white guy, you want to date his best friend. His best friend. And I don't care. I mean, his best friend is so cute. His best friend is really cute. He's really nice. He dresses nice. He got two jobs. He takes care of himself, okay? Yeah, all right. Have you been liking his best friend? Um, well, I mean, not really long. It's like I never paid it any attention. And then because one of the day, two I rules. Just, yeah, because, I mean, just because I don't, they, I never did, okay? My whole theory is this, you know what I'm saying? Before I met Steve, all I thought was, you know, it's like three different kinds of white boys, okay? It's one kind of white boy, you know what I'm saying? Without hey, generalizing, no, tell no, us. No, 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 There's three you different know kinds. what's classifying, but you know what I'm saying? That, hey, man, let's go out and hang out at the bar, man, have a couple of girls, you know? And then you got this other white boy that just think he one of us. What's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know? And then you got this other kind, like, dude, way out far, man. Okay, and, that's and all that's, that's of them the know. only type of white guys that are out there. Not, what, until I met Steve. You okay. see what I'm saying? I, that's what I thought it was. I thought it was just those, you know, not like me. Black people, when we go out and we have Thanksgiving dinner, we eat chitlins and collard greens. And, yeah, that's okay. Okay. Okay, then. But the white people, you guys have nice butternut squash with the. <laughs> Are you saying that you and, and Steve might have a problem choosing a restaurant going out to dinner because he doesn't eat No, I want to go to Puff Daddy restaurant. There ain't no question, you know. But <laughs> There's something for everybody yeah, there. Hey, for everybody. Bro. Okay, so, so basically you've changed your opinion. You are willing to go against your cousin, yet your cousin doesn't know that A, you want to date outside your race, nor do you, that you want to date his best right, friend. And I really don't are you care, nervous though. to tell him that this might affect your, your family relationship? No, because I don't care. I mean, I've been uh, hating people who date out of their race for too long. I just want to try it. You know what I'm saying? It's not wrong with trying things. You know, so I'm gonna All try right, it. I don't care Kobe whether that. you like it or not. Here comes you know? your cousin Kobe. <laughs> from the response that our audience just gave on your arrival, too bad, too bad you can't date your cousin. You're not amused, huh, Kobe? No. I mean, she, uh, she knows we have rules and uh, she's not supposed to date my friends and we don't date outside the race. We're brought up that way and... Can I ask why? Why we were brought up that way? Yeah, why, why do you choose not to date outside your race? Just because, I mean, I don't know. It's disgusting to see black and white couples together. And black, I mean, I mean, it's like she's disrespecting the whole race. I mean, she's saying that she can't find it in a black, she can't find it in a black man, so she has to go find it in a white man. First of all, you, you, you don't speak for the whole race, all right? Okay, okay, you don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. You, she says she wants to try this. This is something she's always wanted to do. She's really into Steven. She says he's not like the other white guys that she knows. We were brought up, you know, stick with your own kind. Well, Ricky, guess what? I don't care. So <laughs>
So I'm just white now, right? It doesn't even matter that we're best friends, right? I'm just white to you now, huh? You know what the rules was. What is it you want to say to to Kai, to Kobe? Man, me and your cousin have been friends, real good friends for a long time. Now she just had a baby. You know I love the baby. I take care of the baby. You know, buying things, taking places. Why, why can't me and your cousin have something? Hey, what about the baby? The baby is black. The baby's father is black. Kai is black. So, what? What's the baby going to think growing up with you? So the baby loves me too. I take care of the baby. You don't know how the baby feels. The baby might not like you. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, wait, wait, let me, let me just so, say, so wait, 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 Kobe, Kobe, can I just throw in that a baby doesn't know not to like or dislike anything until you the teach them that. So, so you, you'd, rather have your, you'd rather have your cousin with a stranger than your best friend? Somebody you know is going to take care of her. You'd rather have her with a total stranger, somebody you don't know? No, she doesn't need to be out with nobody outside her race with a black baby oh, but we with can a kick white it. dad. But we can kick it, right? Yeah, we, we can be can best friends, friends, but whatever, man. What about light-skinned girls? They got white somewhere back in their bloodline. You like to date light-skinned girls, right? Right. As long as both their parents black, they black. All right, whatever. Uh, let me ask, you, you call white people something. You call them pink toes. Yeah, I'm sick of that, too. <laughs> Sick of that, man. That's gonna stop. Wait, what's up with that? How's his best friend white and he's making fun of white people like that, calling them pink toes? Yelling at old white people walking down the street. Just to mess with them. He does the same thing with black people. It's just an ongoing I joke between it out, the both Ricky. of us. Even it out. It's nothing racist going on. I'm not racist. You see, you're my friend, right? Are you guys ready for your first interracial date? Yeah, I am. let's go. All I'm right, ready. Let's let's go. Kobe, go. ready or not, here let's it comes. Go. I'm not ready. If she wants to go on this date, she might as well forget about talking to me. Hey, well, look at this. You got a problem with me? And then? I just lost the bridge. Oh, we're not friends? Then we just lost the bridge. Hey, hey, then when we get off that plane, throw him up in the air and let's work there. We can do it. Okay. So, are you serious? You're going to disown her if she goes on this date? If she goes on this date and. Hey, Ricky, ask me, do I care? Come on, ask me. Do Anything you care? Joel wants to go on a date with a black woman named Stacy, but his brother Chris has made it clear that dating her would be a terrible mistake. Uh oh, you're going against your brother, Joel. Well, you know, I've been, you know, I've been seeing this girl. We've uh, worked together for like the past year. We've been co-workers. We've been carrying on a nice relationship, a business relationship. And my brother, platonic. He, yeah, my my brother, he's seen it. You know, it's getting kind of sweet. And we were, we were raised like, uh, you know, in a town where you know the black people live on this side of town, the white people live on this side. And the only time you really see them was at school. So, and that's, that's just the way we were raised. So, you know, he has a problem with it. He doesn't hate black people. He just don't think we should, you know, mix it up in dating. You know, I personally, you know, I don't, I have a problem with that because I like chocolate. I got a sweet tooth. You know? <laughs> I can't help it, you don't like it. I can't help it, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, just but yet, but yet you've never had it. Right, right, you know, but just there's some, just some about those. Mm. All right, let's meet your brother, Chris. Where are you? Hello. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Uh, it's going rather well, thank you. So, so you're his boss. I uh, used to be his boss. He moved to Miami because I wouldn't leave him alone about dating outside of And did of you race. threaten to fire him if he dated a black girl? I didn't threaten it, but I kind of brought it to his, uh, you know, point of view to him, basically. I, I showed him up. You know, and, I didn't, and, and the fact is, is I didn't want to, you know, stay at the job and have her leave because she's a single mom. She's a great mom, and I don't want to put her in that predicament, so I left. against your brother dating outside of his race. We wasn't raised that way, basically. My father always told us, you know, soccer players shouldn't play on football fields. I don't have nothing against nobody. I'm not racist. What's but my blood and my family's blood should not be mixed together. A lot of people call you a hypocrite. No, because by saying, hypocrite. by telling him that he can't date this person or that person because you know, of their skin, that is a racist, racist <laughs> statement. I mean, he dates some freaks. I don't care about them as long as he's happy. He's my brother. I love him. That's the way it should be. Should we meet Stacy, the girl that's caught his eye? Let's, Stacy, come on out. Hi, Stacy. Hello. Thank you for joining us. 
Thank you. Uh, so you. Do you still work with Chris? Yes, he's my manager. Are you concerned that this might put you in a yes difficult uh, situation? Me and Chris, he works with me. We cool. We have a, a, a cool work relationship. And if I'm cool with you at work, you, you know how I am. I'm a nice girl. I'm decent. Are you telling me you don't find that attractive because she is gorgeous? Okay. All right? <laughs> Man, listen to me, right? Hey. If you don't date black women, okay, you decrease your choice of women by half. All right? That's 50% of women. All right? Now, she's absolutely gorgeous. There are gorgeous white women out there, but... She's yeah, just she's gorgeous. gorgeous. She's, not, she's not for me. You know, she's I get that you think she's gorgeous. She's I think she's gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Well, well you know me. what? If she's things don't me. work out with them, maybe we can hook you up with Stacy later. Maybe. Yeah. She's yeah. open to it. Kristen has wanted to date her former co-worker, Nick, but her family has always been against interracial dating. So why are you doing it, Kristen? I'm here to tell my sister she could support me or she can't. If she doesn't choose to support me, then that's on her. And I, would, I really hate to see it that way. She told me she would kick me out the house because we live together if I chose to go this way to date him. But and you're willing to risk your being homeless over this date with I'm Nick. I won't be homeless. I'm not worried about that. I'm, that's the least of my concerns because regardless, somebody will support me and help me out. So if she kicks me out, then Are you ready to tell her, her just that? Yep. Let's meet Natlene. <laughs> Let me just say, no, no offense to you, but you, you don't look 100% black. But I'm all black, baby. My mama's black, my daddy's black, so I'm black. I'm well, just a high color, but wait, hold on, but for real, why, 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 why can't I have your support in this? I mean, you know, I mean, Nick has a job, he has a car, so he's willing to take care of So jobs, me. with cars, with houses. That ain't no good thing. Oh, no you good. haven't met you the good ones. Thing. You haven't you know met the good ones, though. You know they You haven't no met the good, good ones. ones. You ain't met him. I ain't got a child. I like chocolate, not know. vanilla, baby, okay? That's how I likes it. Let's meet big old Nick. <laughs> Rick and me. You she don't said care. She, don't, she don't kick her out. She got a place to stay with me. I got my own place. Let's go, Sam! Well, I'll give you my rent here, Ricky. I need my rent here. Hold on, Ricky, Ricky. We were brought over here. White people brought us over here on boats and they raped us, beat us. That was five it million years. That was a whole time. That was a whole new time. So why they want us now? They didn't want us back so then. We was good enough for them then. Why would they want us now? And this and this. Let me just clear the clear this that Nick, you are you are actually the only non virgin up there and that you have dated black women yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And and you are you choose to date black yeah, women. I'm, I'm digging the peanut butter complexion. Which yeah. <laughs> like the good old fashioned saying goes, blood is thicker than water. Who I date don't make me not break me. It's who I am and it's Thank who he is. <laughs> Well, there's no telling what Natalie will do when she sees what Kristen does on her first date with a white man. What do I think about interracial dating? I feel there's nothing wrong with meeting different people, different races. Um, we should all get to know each other. We should all love each other. It doesn't bother me. I have friends who do it. and People should just do what they want to do. Nobody should care what other people are doing. It's your own business. interracial dates. Now Kai and Steven are back from their date and Kai's cousin Kobe doesn't look too happy about it. Kobe, how do you think it went? I don't know how it went. I can't tell you right now. <laughs> are you hoping it didn't go well? I'm hoping it didn't go well. 
for the sake of, uh, I guess, your your family, for the sake of your cousin, and your yeah. best friend. Yeah. Are you are you nervous right now? No. No. You're maybe confident that maybe happens. things didn't work out. Huh? You're confident things maybe didn't go so well? I hope they didn't. All right. Well, you know what? Let's find out. Without further ado, let's bring back Kai and Steven. <laughs> Today. Hi, Ricky. How you doing? Fine, I like good. your shirt. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, red <laughs> is the color, I think. Um, a match made in heaven? Yeah. Date, I mean, the date went great. All yeah. right, you know what? Before we even talk to you guys, let's take a look and see just how your date went. Okay. Yeah. Watch. I can't believe we're going out on a date. We shouldn't date outside their race because it's disrespectful to their race. I don't think he's racist, but there's something going on in his head. <gasps> I know Kobe feels really betrayed, and I feel really bad that he does. We were brought up different to, you know, stay basically with our own kind. She's just cool. She doesn't care where we go, where we hang out, what kind of music we listen to. She's just open-minded. I wish we'd get our palms ready. Okay. Want to go in there? All right. Keep your personal business between your guys' self. Don't let anything come in between you. You guys have a very strong connection between the both of you. On the other hand, there's two major things around you that's concerning you very, very strongly. It's one involves family complications and friend situations around you. The things that she said were really true. So maybe she was right about me and Steve. Who knows? Well, let's go eat some black people food. <laughs> Good old ham hocks and collard greens. I feel as though people were just like digging into me with stairs. You go, girl. You know if that's what you want, then you go for it. Hey. Interracial couple didn't feel comfortable to come to Harlem. Come on to Harlem. Come to Sylvia. You will be fine. In my heart, I know that it's not right to go out with a white person. Of course people look at him different because, I mean, she's black. She was a black child and he's white and she's going to have to deal with it. I understand that, but he also has to look at he's cheating us because he won't give us a chance to have anything just because of the way he feels about something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a problem with that tape. We cut just as it got, got good. Let's cut to the chase here. Um, what do you think of interracial dating? Okay. I mean, I like interracial dating. It's not for me, you know what I'm saying? What's Why? He, because of what your cousin thinks about it? Care what he thinks? Eh. No, I'm saying. <laughs> but um, it doesn't. It's not that for real. It's just that Steve, for one, he's like too good of a friend. I mean, I just it felt like he was like my best friend kicking it. I could never see myself no, kissing. Him. There were no sparks, no sparks whatsoever. No, I mean it was like kissing my friend. It was like a friendly thank you for a great day. I mean, he, he is the greatest guy. This he's the greatest. <laughs> Do you feel the same way? Did it feel too much like a sister? Well, Kai and I, we always spend a lot of time together. It was really, co really cool to go out and eat together and have a date, take walks in the park and rollerblade. But yeah, it was too much of a friendship thing going. I really didn't feel the spark when we kissed or anything. You saw the kiss. I mean, I kissed better than that. It was kind of a lame kiss. It's kind well, of a okay lame kiss. That's okay to me. But... Uh, let me ask Kobe, you're pretty happy right now? You didn't win. It's just Steve is my friend. You know what I mean? I can't. But yet you do say you won't date outside of your race anymore. I mean, I won't do it. It's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to do with Steve. It's just, it's not for me. You know what okay. I mean? I just. Fair enough. Guys, take a look at this. Guys, take a look at this. All right, it's our first date. Two of us are in a limo. While alone. What do you want to do? I'm hungry. Man, let's take on the city. How are you? Welcome to Mars 2112. I gotta think. I don't know about this. Eat it. Eat it. I gotta get it off on the fourth first. Stacy's fun to be with. She's fun to be around. We have a lot in common. You wanna move to New York with me? Move to New York with you. 
Joel's dad's gonna freak when he sees this on the, on the screen. Finally, we got to go on a date, and it just feels really good to get off my chest. I finally, you know, had the gumption to get up and ask her. This is my first biracial date, and Joel was so sweet. My time is up. Listen, I started out at 16. I started out at last. The color just totally goes over my head. I, I don't look at color at all. I was very comfortable. Uh, Joel, what's up, Joel? Get away from that. Oh, look at this one with the big eye. Yeah, one out. Pick one up. No, I really don't care what Chris thinks about the, all this whole thing because I had fun. I really made my night be with Stacy. Joe, I can't believe you're doing this. I don't even want to watch this, man. I'm out of here. This, uh, this has been an interesting night. You know, who knows where this date's going to lead to, but I hopefully at least where we can date again real soon. I do believe that I will be having another date with him. He's just a sweet guy, and I, 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 the color is no big deal to me. Fun. I had an idea that it would be something like this, but never, I didn't never, I never had a clue that it would be, you know, this much fun, this interesting. I had a really good time tonight. I can't wait to do it again. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. I, I do. I feel a connection between the two of you. I had, a, I had a lot of fun. It was great. We went out. We see New York City. Went to that, a really cool restaurant. And this guy, on, on the other hand, listen, we took him out last night and he had fun. Okay, this guy had fun at the club. He changed his flavor. He changed his flavor last night. Anything you want to talk about? Anything that has to do with Chris, maybe? You both were so against interracial dating, but you two had a mighty fine time last night. Yeah, we did. We went out. <laughs> so is, is Chris, does Chris have anything to do with the fact that you've changed your mind about this? Somewhat. And really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have to say I'm really happy to hear it. Yes, Chris? I don't know. I guess if you can't beat them, join them. I had to try it out first. You know what I, mean? I, I, I had to just, you know, I couldn't diss him for something I really didn't know about. So I and now that you know it about out. it, it's not that bad, huh? It's not that bad, but I still, you know, it's the way we were raised. I can't go against that. I mean, I had fun. I'll go have fun all day long, but I'll never, you know what I mean, in a relationship or none of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. You know? All right. Well, let's fun. find out how Chris and Nick did on their date. Right, since our first time in the Big Apple and everything, it's our, your first interracial date. I'm not sure how to uh, really treat a lady. Yes, you can tell we're tourists now. We're officially tourists. MTV! Yeah, I've always wanted to see this part. I've, this has been a dream Central just to come Park, to right Central here. Park. While I was on the carriage, I wasn't focused on anything about interracial, nothing. That was the last thing on my mind. It didn't even come up, actually. It wasn't even the last thing. It got quiet. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> it was love. I was just overwhelmed. So what do you think your sister's doing right about now? She mad, little, uh -huh. little heat, <laughs> little heat coming off the head. I want her with the black guy, Ricky. Went out to eat. One of my favorite Italian restaurants. So a little bit of my heritage. They sure treat us like we were a part of their family. You gotta try a little of everything. What you think of it so far? I'm liking it. I like it. I'm enjoying it so much. Well, I told her how I felt on the show earlier today. We just have to talk about it more. Uh, amazing helicopter ride all around town, which is like that was breathtaking. That was a breathtaking surprise. Oh my god, I love this guy. I felt comfortable. It was just like when I was somebody that was same race, same, same nationality. Yes. It was like you pinch me now, wake up on a journey. <laughs> here. Unbelievable. Yeah, First off, I have to say that my husband never took me on no helicopter ride around New oh, York. Was that that was, was that cool? Oh, yeah, the chain. Speechless. That, just... yeah. Wow. Okay, so what, what happened? Obviously, you like each other. Yeah, was, was some sparks were flying. Yeah. Definitely, Ricky. Yeah? Something I'd like to do again. Yeah? Most definitely. Yeah. You found a girl for Kobe? Girl, oh, hi. How are you? You look like you won the lotto or something. Stand up. What's your name? Amy. Hi, Amy. Amy, meet Kobe. Kobe, meet Amy. <laughs> what do you think, Kobe? She's a cute girl. Sorry, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So are you willing to open?
open your mind? I mean, since everybody else did it and they changed, I mean, I guess. Oh, come on up there and meet him. That's all. That's all. Well, you know what? So, you know, Paul, I wish we had a chair for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I just want to say that, Ricky, you don't even have a show no more because everybody up on the panel then flipped the script and everybody didn't change their mind. You got hurt. Isn't that a good thing, though? Isn't that a good thing, especially with something like this? We had another